As a student for almost my whole life, I have used to waking up at 6.30 a.m. Well, at least on school days. I would work till 9 p.m. and go to sleep around 11. For me, that meant lack of sleep during the week and trying to catch up on sleep in the weekends. I would sleep till I had to wake up and rush to work. Some days I would wake up at 6 a.m., some days 2 p.m. That went on till I graduated. Nowadays I wake up depending when my work starts. I sleep as long as I can, snoozing at least 5 to 10 times. That means I don't have any kind of routine or structure in my life. And well, it shows. I wonder, how much more could I get done? And how much more productive could I be if I would wake up at 5 a.m.? Would that help me to get more done? Would it change my life? Well, everything didn't go as planned. So the problem in this challenge is not going to be waking up at 5 a.m. The huge problem is going to be getting enough sleep, being ready to wake up and be well rested. That is going to be the true challenge here. So if I don't go to bed early, it's going to be a huge problem to me the next day. So I'm going to be putting up two alarms because I'm a snoozer and if I one day don't wake up, it's going to alarm at 5.02. I'm going to put those up for every single day so they are automatically and I don't have to worry if I have the alarm on or not. The first week is going to be the true challenge. It's the judgment period time. So this is my first day doing the 5 a.m. challenge and it's now 6 15, 15, 6, 20 and I have already done my makeup and my hair. It's my first day at work since I cut my hair. So this is the third day having this hair. My work starts in 10 minutes and I have already done my makeup, my hair and went out with my dog and now I'm going to walk to work. So this is my first day doing the 5 a.m. challenge for 30 days. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so it's now 9 12 a.m. So a little past 9 and I have already uh, went to shower, uh, blow dried my hair, styled my hair, done my makeup, eat breakfast and done like three hours of work, video editing and editing photos. And now I'm out with my dog. As you can see, and I've really done a lot. My work starts at half 11, so I have plenty more time. I woke up at 5, as you can imagine, and I have done work for 3 hours, so that's amazing. So that is my update for the second day. When you start to do something new, a new habit or something else, the first week is the worst. And this challenge wasn't any exception. You have to find a rhythm and a morning routine that fits for you. For me, the first two days I didn't have a routine. 
I wanted to start my day with no hurry. I just wanted to make tea, breakfast and sit on the couch. Well, that wasn't the smartest choice. Couple days in this challenge, I realized that I had to do something in the morning. I couldn't just sit on the couch and think that I'm going to stay awake because I wasn't. So what I did for the third day, wait for it, it's not fun. So it's now little past 5.30 and I'm already going to the gym. I'm a little bit tired, but let's do this. So basically there is no one at the gym. Am I surprised? No. It's 6.30 right now and I'm ready from the gym. It's now 9 a.m. and I have already done two hours of work, eat breakfast and I just came back from running for about 45 minutes. And as you can see, I'm sweaty as heck. And this is also something that I have implemented in my life through these 30 days of waking up 5 a.m. So that is running. And this is my third time running and I absolutely hate it, but I will be good at it in like half a, half a year. So I just have to suck it up and do it right now. But basically this is how my mornings start. It depends on when I go to work. Usually I go work around before 9 or 10. And usually before that I do a couple of hours of work. So video editing and eat breakfast two times because I get hungry before 9 because I will, will wake up at 5 and I will also do my daily exercise before work. So this is the true story behind it. It's not glamorous but I get much more done. So that is good. But now I will go to shower, do my makeup, do my hair and do some more work before I go to my actual work. So that is the update right now. That video made it seem a bit more easier than it actually was. Running at 5.30 a.m. It isn't my strongest cue. It wasn't fun. It wasn't easy to do. But that was something that I had to do to stay awake. So I'm now two weeks in this challenge and Right now it's actually going really well. At this point I'm not feeling tired anymore in the morning and I can actually make more done in the morning. Also my schedule has changed a lot so when I go to bed I'm actually tired or a little bit tired so I fall to sleep so much easier. So at the two week point I'm really enjoying this challenge but it's now the 23rd of December. So you can see the problem already here. Tomorrow it's Christmas. Uh, in Finland we celebrate Christmas at the 24th of December. So that is going to be fun. So I'm going to 
go enjoy Christmas tomorrow with my family in another city and we are going to spend the night there and I basically have to go to bed around 8 or 9 so that is going to be fun my boyfriend doesn't like the idea already and the next day of that so the 25th is going to be more of a problem we are going to go to my boyfriend's parents and it's going to be more like a drinking night and I don't drink and we are going to spend the night there too so I basically have to say like bye bye and go to sleep when everyone else is having a good time or I can stay up late and sleep like six hours we shall see, I will update you then. So it's now the 25th of December. So last night, so the 24th, I got to sleep seven hours. Now it's the 25th and it's almost 11 and I'm now going to bed. So I'm going to sleep six hours and everyone else is going to sauna and jacuzzi and i'm already tired from yesterday so let's see how tomorrow goes i'm not excited for that because tomorrow we are going to my grandparents so let's see how i'm feeling tomorrow So two hours later, I slept for two hours and now I'm kind of feeling better. I'm a little bit sick because everyone at my work and everyone at my family is sick. So now I can do my hair and makeup and film some videos. Why habits are so hard to stick with are because eventually you are going to get sick, you have to travel, your friends are maybe going to ask you to go to bar with them. Eventually something is going to happen and you will have hard time to stick with your new habit. So to sum this video up, what I thought about this challenge? Well, at first, I absolutely hate it. I woke up at 5 and I would commit to start my work or exercise at 5.30 am. That really helps with my productivity. I got so much more done work-wise and also like cleaning and all the little stuff that you have to do everyday basics. I finished so many unfinished projects that I have been doing for God knows how long and I also started to do things at the second they came into my mind. That has really also helped me with procrastinating and also helped me to get much cleaner home. Before this challenge started my boyfriend basically ruined the whole nap thing. He asked me Naps aren't included, right? And I was just like, mm, should I say no? I thought that they were included if needed. Then he was basically like, it's not a 5 a.m. challenge if you're going to nap. That is basically cheating. And because I'm basically a little bit competitive, I of course said that, well, I was thinking of taking a nap if needed, but if that's cheating, I will not do that. Well, that wasn't a smart choice, but I basically only did couple naps. And those were on the last week of the challenge when I was super, super sick. 
So for the most nights, I went to sleep between 8 and 9 p.m. I really tried to sleep eight and a half to nine hours because this was a huge change for me and I got so much more done in the day that I really allowed myself to sleep more. And that was a smart choice because the first week when I started this challenge, I slept way too little. I was planning to go to bed around eight, but then I got something else to do. I was just cleaning or doing video editing or just making excuses to not go to bed. And after a couple of days, I was exhausted. I started to sleep nine hours a night and went to bed before that nine hour so I could really get more sleep. So for the most nights I slept around eight and a half hours and that really worked for me. So for me eight and a half to nine hours and I was well rested. So now when this challenge has ended, how am I going to go forward? Well, basically this challenge already stopped a couple days ago and I have still woke up at 5 a.m. every single day. So the only change that I'm going to do this point forward is that if I have some special occasion, I'm going to stay up late if I want to and I will wake up at like 6 or 7 a.m. But normally I will wake up at 5 a.m. For me, this was really huge success. So hopefully you got some inspiration out of this video and hopefully we will see on the next one. Bye!